Hello everyone and welcome to the video. Today we've got something a bit different. Uh, today we're doing the Dojo Wars uh, Kisi War Semifinals versus Focus. This match is against Marquitos Villar. Uh, set it a bit into the pick and ban. So I first banned Minotaur. He first banned Sambi. We're into the first pick here now. Uh, so my thoughts, Volcrane is very good into his team. Uh, that's the main reason I went with the Volcrane first. Uh, like Naga is also pretty good here to get Emanip up, uh, the Emanip pressure up on Skunch. We're also fine if we trade Naga for the Skunch kill here. We're going to play it by ear. I think we do want to pick the uh, Naga, though. Uh, they ban Tolkien, which means we're probably going to want to ban Tremurian, as that's probably the more annoying one on his team to deal with. And Volfi's always a good pick here. Volfi gives us a risky but good swap into the Golzi. Now, we definitely want Loeli here. And I think we're going to go Loeli... Golzi, because he's probably going to see Loeli and want to pick Aohi. If we basically picked uh, Hazrat Loeli, he would have too easy of an Aohi pick. So this makes both of his last picks kind of awkward. Because even if he picks Valash here, we have a lot to deal with Valash. So we're pretty happy with how this pick ban went. Volcrane always stays. The question is, what do we want to do with the Naga? We don't have info on if it's a max speed Golzi or not. I believe max speed Golzi will outspeed my Naga. It'll be close, but I believe it will. Uh, yeah, okay. It's actually not as close as I thought. So we might have to bring the Naga back for now uh, because Naga is great into the his entire back line. The problem with that is it does open us up to a pretty powerful double in. But I think Golzi is our least important member of this team right now. The problem is if he reads this and goes for the double on Volcrane, we might be in a bit of a bad spot. But I think we still have to go for it. Losing Naga is too big of a deal. We can play this game without Volcrane. And, I mean, Naga Imanip here is a, is a really good play, so I wouldn't be surprised if that's what he expects. Uh, it's kind of a bit of a 50-50 turn. I don't like using the term 50-50, but uh, it's, it's very close. If I keep in Naga and he goes doubles into Volcrane, then I would win the game pretty much. If he, if he reads it, I don't lose, and that's kind of the reason I'm doing it. Um, I think if he goes into Naga and I don't swap, I could very easily lose the game from that. This is a safer play, and I think I have options to play late game on this team. So The fact that that didn't uh, hasty lunge, though, makes me think... He did go for the perfect jab uppercut, which is a bit unfortunate that he did go for that play. Oh, no, he did go for Strackling Bullet. So, a very interesting play from him, actually, not going for the uppercut onto the Volcrane. Uh, this is where we want to actually swap out the Volcrane into the Naga. We want to eat a bunch of damage on Naga, and I think as long as we can, like... We can now use, like, Charge Ion to get uh, some extra damage on the Skunch, for example. We don't want to Hasty Lunge because we don't have our item up. The other option is we could Hasty Lunge the Skunch, bring in Loeli. Uh, if we do that, our Loeli is likely dead, which is not ideal. I don't think... We can't keep Volcrane in, though. Like, that has to swap out. Swapping in Naga is a bit risky. The problem is if we swap in Naga, then Charge Ion is a much worse play because it's doesn't give us a good board state we're gonna do loeli because i think loeli is losable this game i think this is a an okay play it also gives us uh gust plays next turn if loeli survives here so we'll see uh oshidashi okay so he could double oshidashi we'll see what he decides to click here Sparkling Bullet. I don't think that'll kill. Ah, it does just barely kill. So he doesn't have Oshidashi up on Skunch. And we should outspeed the Golzi. So I think we're safe with the Volcrane switch in here. The only concern is Ninja killing Volcrane. But I don't think Ninja will actually kill Volcrane from this range. And he doesn't really have a good swap into this. Um, we are going to... This is probably going to turn into 
He ninjas that. He doesn't have prior to hit it well. I don't think that can turn into anything that really hurts us here. The other option, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna charge iron here. Try and get down as much damage as we can. This is a bit of an awkward spot, but if we can get this Golzi down, then we're in a really good spot with Naga and Volfi. So that's basically what we're trying to get to. We're trying to get to that point where we can play this game through Naga and Volfi. See how this turn plays out. Okay, so he does swap that out into the size munch. That makes sense. Uh, so he does actually go for the savage and it does outspeed. We do not die though on Volcrane, so that's good. Now I'm guessing he's going to He has Size Munch Wreck up this turn. Uh, but that Size Munch did take a lot of damage here. And we do get the Scunch Kill, which is big. Uh, we also locked out the double screen. So that's going to take a lot more damage this turn. Now, uh, he does switch into the Golzi. So he does have the option to try and take out... He could double three prio the Volcrane here. Which I think is something that we just have to accept is going to happen. Golzi will also go down here, but Golzi going down here is kind of okay. Mainly because we have options to play around the rest of the game. I could actually, uh, our other option, and I actually think is what I'm going to do. Uh, we can Flaming Meteorite this slot. Try and take out the Size Munch. No, sorry. We want to kill the we want to kill the Golzi for sure. I don't know if this will kill the Golzi, but we want to get as much damage on Golzi as possible. And Flaming Meteorite is the best way to do that. And we're going to swap in Volfi, trying to read the uh, Size Munch Wreck, plus maybe a Sparkling Bullet. Uh, I don't know what he might click on the Volfi, but we want to read that Size Munch Wreck. We got the Vigorous from the Exhaust, so hopefully that should kill the Golzi. Yes. Okay, so we got the Golzi dead. Size Munch Wreck is down, so Golzi can come in for free next turn. Size Munch also won't have any priority moves and is no longer neutralized, so Plague should kill. So now he's probably going to bring in the Valash. Uh, and Golzi doesn't do as much for us this game now. So we want to bring in the Golzi to eat the... Oh, he actually brings in the move flank. I actually think this was the turn he probably wanted to bring in the Lash. And we're going to read that he's going to try and swap out this monkey. Um, if he doesn't, this is still a fine play. We're going to get lots of damage on the move flank. But Plague should go before anything the monkey can do. And if he swaps into Valash into Plague um, Oshidashi, we should just win the game. This is a pretty big turn, but I'm not, I'm not overly concerned. I actually think we're in a very good spot here. So he does go for the Dimok. Uh, he wants to save his uh, Valash, which makes sense. We get a lot of damage on the move flank here, though. A lot, actually a lot of damage. The fact that that uh, doesn't kill Golzi is pretty big. And he doesn't kill Volfi, which is also uh, very good for us. So now we have the option to... We want the Hasty Lunge, even though it will give uh, Valash a proc of Scavenger. We want to try and get as much damage on the move flank as we can. Oh, he actually goes for the double kick. That's honestly probably uh, pretty good for us. Because the fact that... Oh, it's actually physical Valash. Interesting. Uh, that's actually probably a bit better for us. Oh, it actually goes down. So this should just be a win now. Double kick Pryo is down. Uh, he can't one-shot the Naga, so this is just a beta burst for the win, I believe. I can't really see a way that he can... Yeah, there's no way he ever lives beta burst. All right, GG. We took round two. We had a rough round one, so I'm glad we took that one. Oh, and we actually are crushing it so far. So good job to the Grumble so far. We got the win there that we needed, so hopefully we can end this in two rounds. But thanks everyone for watching the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope you learned something. If you got any questions about competitive, make sure to leave them down for me in the comments, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.